Mm -hmm. Hi guys, I'm Adriana with Jack's mom in Austin. Hi. And that's Jack right there. And we're going to do a little art project that I got from Imagine That Art Space from the owner and teacher there. Um, and this is going to be us playing with oil and water and uh, food coloring. So it should be a lot of fun for us, right? Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So the items that you're going to need, I cheated a little bit because I have these tiny little um, cake pans. And I brought that out. But if you have a full sheet pan for cookies um, or for baking that has the little lip, uh, bring that out. And you can use that as long as it's a flat, um, low dish. And we're going to need some water. Do you want to pour that? And some water and it's okay if it splashes out that's gonna happen right it's okay and I also have um, a coffee filter that I cut up into little circles you can see them right there and we're gonna use those in a minute you don't have to do that you can use any type of sturdy paper that's why um, I like these because it they're pretty sturdy I know they're coffee filters but um, it's, act it's actually a pretty sturdy tool to use for this project. And then I also have pipettes. And these pipettes you can order on Amazon. I ordered several, I think it's like a hundred of them for maybe 10 bucks, just so we have them for projects like this. You don't have to do that. An alternative is to use old medicine droppers, or if you are a member of the Toy Brewery, you can check out droppers there. And your last option, of course, is to go and try out a class at Imagine That Art Space, which I highly recommend. So right here we have little ramekins with oil. You wanna look in there? And we have some green food coloring in this one. Don't know if you can see that, but I kinda of mixed it in there. And we also have purple and red. And your kiddo is gonna grab a pipette. You wanna start with this one? Uh, I'll start with blue. You want to start with blue? I think that's green. Is that okay? And we're putting it right there. And they're just going to squeeze it into their little dish pan. And this is great practice uh, for gross motor skills for uh, their future. And it's also really good for them to practice their dexterity with their hands. That motion is really good to for the future when they learn to write. And it's just a really fun project. We definitely don't have to make everything a learning experience, but at this age, oh, we're gonna do drops. We're gonna do drops and then when we're done, we can dump them. At this age, you know, it's everything they do, they learn, which is great. Squeeze it again, Hold that right. oh, uh oh. <laughs> we got a little bit on our face and our eye. There we go, is that okay? Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You need a paper towel? Yeah. Let me get a paper towel. Sometimes you'll have little accidents like this, and that's okay. Here you go. See the paper towel. There we go. It's just um, olive oil and uh, water. I mean, what, olive oil and food coloring. So nothing that will kill them. I think I'm gonna have to help Jack a little bit. There we go, there we go. And you see he's getting a lot of that dye and it's great. Here's purple. And I'm gonna help him out a little bit. We've got a lot of great colors going on in here. They're all, they're gonna mix, but that's okay. Good. Good. All right. So let's do this last part. It's done. Done. We're done. Done. We are. We're going to. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna get these little filters and put them in there. And do you wanna keep putting more? And push them down, push them down slowly. Push it down. 
color um, did grab on to these and it kind of looks like one big dark mushy you know yeah oh and your kids probably gonna want to do what Jack's doing right now and that's okay totally okay I got wet it did it's okay there we go a great tip that Rena the owner of imagine that gave me that I did not practice today is if you want to keep food coloring off of your kiddos hands go ahead and put coconut oil or olive oil on them and actually if you can tell he had olive oil on his hands and we have no food coloring on them so very good trick to know and I think once they have some color just pull them out and put them outside to dry yeah outside to dry outside to dry all right guys we're back so our finished product is going to look like that I cut them and I cut them so that Jack, so this is what they look like before. This one didn't catch as much color as I wanted, so I kind of left that one aside. But the rest I cut and they are beautiful colors. You see that? And what I did is I layered them and we are going to make some flowers for Grandma. Because Grandma's gonna come vis visit us, huh? Yep. And we love Grandma, she's our favorite. So I have some glue and I highly recommend this glue. It's the Crayola washable school glue. I like it because it has the little, no, open it. yes, you can open it. It has a little uh, pin inside in the middle, in the center, so that when you put it in, it doesn't clog up, which is fantastic. You don't have to spend any time trying to peel off the glue and making sure it's not stuck. Oh, sorry. So while Jack does that, I'm gonna go ahead and I just have a sheet of paper that it's a little oily, it's a little greasy, that's okay. This is a grandma gift and grandma ultimately is gonna be very excited no matter what. I also have some pom-poms and our glue. And we're going to go ahead and just put our flowers on the sheet of paper with our pom-pom and make some beautiful flowers. The great thing about this too is that Jack gets to practice with glue. And, okay, we're going to put a little bit of glue right there. And this will probably be a slow process because he's two. There we go. That's good. All right, where do we want to put it? My, no. You want me to put it down? Okay, I'll start with the first one. And then I'm just going to put that right there. And then let's do the next layer. And the way that I got these to pop up and out, kind of like 3D, is that I got a marker, a thick marker. And I'll show you guys here in a minute once Jack gets the glue on here. Squeeze real hard. Ready? There we go. All right. And I'm just gonna layer this right on top. There we go. But you can use any marker, and I'm gonna, I grab this thin one right here, and you're basically just uh, folding it over onto the marker like this. So you can see it's kind of already making little petals, and if they're cut, it's great because it, it has that effect of looking like petals. So here's a, there we go. And once you put them down, you'll have a little flower. All right, let's put some more glue right there. And I, I really want to recommend Imagine That Art Space to you guys. We, I found it on accident. I was looking through some stuff on Facebook under events, and I was trying to see if there was anything that I had missed for my daily calendars for you all. And I had. They I had a pretty event on there. You did. That's good. I think that's good. They recently opened. They're pretty new. I don't even think they're three months old yet. But the space is run by a mom who has her own I'm not five yet. You're not five yet. How old are you? Two. You are two. Yes. I can count to three and then I can turn to five. Oh, once you can count to three, you, you're going to be five? Wow, I like that logic. All right, you want to put some pom-poms? Yes. And here are our pom-poms. Anyway, Rena has her own little jack. 
and she opened this school, this art space, if you will, so that she could teach and instruct uh, younger children, which is great because if you look around, there's a lot of art schools, but there aren't many that cater to two and under. And she even has infant classes. And I like that the infant classes, of course, are not, they are not curriculum based. They don't follow any forced learning. It's really just them being exposed to play and to texture and to sound and to sight and all their senses. And it's just such a great experience for them. That's an extra one. So once you're done with your flowers, you can see right here our little flowers. I'm just going to add a stem and a stem and a leaf. And then we're just going to write, I love grandma. And he actually calls my mom Grandma Gantu. Grandma Gantu. And he calls his other grandma, Bama. Okay, let's put some more glue there. And I think we are good. And that's our little craft. And you guys can ultimately do whatever you want with your little filters. You can make a little mural. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right there. You wanna hold it up? And this is gonna be for Grandma Cantu. Have a wonderful day. Go check out Imagine That Art Space, right? We like it. And we also like the Toy Brary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's pretty much all. You guys have a wonderful hump day. Uh -huh. Happy Wednesday. And say bye. Bye. All right.